Card number two, Nimue says, seek the counsel of crystals. And when I was tapping into this card, I really felt guided to read what the book said. This book is really in depth and usually three to four pages long. So it's always really beautiful. And part of it that I read, I was like, yeah, I feel like this whole message right here is everything that you need to see and understand this weekend because it's something that's been in a lot of people's feeling fields, especially mine included, not especially, but just mine included. And it's one of those things where we need to start shifting our perspective and changing our lives. So the card says, between my two hands lies the power of all that is, the connections between the earth and the stars, the realms through which you can move to bring about your deepest desires and dreams. But do you dare to dream it? Are you courageous enough to declare your desire? I can create, but I will not be brought forth when you do not have the fortitude to commit to your change. Make a commitment to thy own self now. She, who you truly are, is worth this trust, this pledge, this courage you must have to birth your own changing self. For I am gentle, but I too have no more time to spend if you wish to waste the jewels life has given you. I will turn away, because it may not yet be your time. Only you can say it is not so and walk forth into your new self, with me as a guide and light, with transformation as your nature, with your incarnation without material death as your own truth. Do this with me, bless thyself, love thyself, know that you are beyond your own imaginings, act this day, this hour, this minute, and change will flow, do not hesitate, be transformed now. Um, another part of it says, it is time for you to free yourself from the confines of others' expectations and investigate other less in, um, investigate other less conventional ways of making a living. So you're really being drawn to decide where you're going, right? I feel like the biggest thing that you're being asked to look at right now is what are you doing with your life? And are you fulfilling your passion and your mission and, and the whole purpose you came here? Or are you just kind of autopiloting through it? The, the more you procrastinate and kind of pull yourself away from making these changes that you're being asked to make, the more you're repeating those lessons. And there's nothing wrong with repeating your lessons if that is what you choose to do. And many of you have been playing these lessons for a long time and we're ready to make this change and so the universe can only give you back that which you put out and decide your worth february was a whole month of us really reflecting on how we care about ourselves that true love in self and what we're doing about that self are we still denying self or are we actually being courageous and deciding that we're worth more than that which we've perceived before? This weekend it's really important to reflect on who you are, where you're going, and what changes need to be made, and what changes you could make today. What's something different you can do to challenge yourself to be that version of self that you're trying to become? Are you supposed to just go on an adventure and go for a little drive somewhere? To go sit in nature? To go find something really cool? Something different than you'd normally do? Somewhere different than you'd normally go? What are you changing in yourself today? So for more personalized guidance and more one-on-one -on -one sessions, you can feel free to shoot me a message. And I will chat with you guys soon. Take care.